In this lecture, we are going to speak about arrays. So let's open an, another playground, call this array. And let's remove this existing variable here. So what array is? Uh, arrays are used when you want to hold many different uh, type of objects uh, in one array, in one place. So when I'm saying different type, you can create an array uh, that holds different type, but each array has, has to have only one type inside of it. So what I mean, if I say var my string array, this is equals and arrays are initialized with this square brackets and if I put a string here let's say uh, string 1 now this array has one string inside of it but I cannot say that uh, comma and I can say one more string for example string 2 but if I put comma and say number 4 for example this is not going to work because this uh, array, my Xcode understands that this array is going to hold a string. So it says that I am trying to uh, put a number and uh, in my string array. So if I click on the fix here, it's going to tell that my array is actually holding any value. So it's not like uh, it's holding only string or it's holding only numbers. So it's holding anything. So this is kind of tricky when it comes to any. Uh, we're going to cover this later on uh, because any is, it can be any type and uh, this is not something that we want to use. When we are creating different uh, arrays, it's always good to keep the values same. So you have either string, either integer, either bools you can have. So um, let's remove this. And you can see that array, uh, when you want to put different uh, multiple lines, multiple objects inside of it, you just use comma and you put something else, a string three and etc. Then you can have my uh, int array is equals, and then you say like one comma two comma three comma four etc and this is also perfectly normal normal when uh, when it comes to array so you can hold different types inside the array but it's uh, it's best if you are keeping them separate so for example if you want to add something to your existing array you can say for example my string array and you say dot append and this uh, append comes with our array. So our array is a class that is written in uh, uh, inside our foundation, which is the Swift. So uh, it has this function append. And when you are going to append, you see that automatically it says new element and the type says string. But if I say my int array dot append, it automatically says that I'm going to append with an integer because it understands that my array is holding an integer here. So I can say, for example, here, uh, string 4. And now if I say print and I say my string array, let's do it. Actually, I need to put some kind of value here because it crashes otherwise, but that's okay. Uh, we still have our array printed out. You can see that we have four values here and our uh, now string four was added to our array. If I print again now with commented out, you will see that my array currently holds three values. And for our uh, my string, I can, uh, my integer, I can add five here. And if I say print and I will say uh, my integer array and let's run it it's going to print one two three four five so imagine uh, uh, as an example we are going to use for our array uh, 
and let's create uh, another array we say var my friends and this is going to be an equal array and this uh, will have my friends name so we say bob comma nd comma anna comma and mike and then i close my array so what i'm going to do let's comment out this uh, i'm going to say for every one of my friends which i have so many uh, we're going to say hello and the array and the name of our friend so if i wanted to do it manually i had to say like uh, print and we say hello bob and then i had to copy this and paste it four times and then say hello andy anna and mike but uh, since we have an array we can use it in much easier way instead of doing all this what i can say is there uh, comes handy for loop but uh, remember when we were talking about loops in our uh, previous uh, lessons we had like uh, four and then we say like uh, zero dot 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 five six etc so it goes through one number until the other number and then it prints out this but when it comes to our arrays uh, it's very handy to have four in loop which is we put four and for example i'm calling my variable a name here and i call say in my friends so it understands that for every value that is inside my friends array i'm going to have assign it to a name so it's going to go through every name here so if i say print hello and here i will use string interpolation and put the name and let's actually get rid of this print and if i say run now it's going to run hello bob hello andy hello anna hello mike so this one line of code with the print uh, which using our for loop it does all the job i need with my uh, with my friends array so imagine if you had to send like some kind of email to these people you wouldn't the same email you just write one short function with a for loop and it takes and sends all the emails to these people then uh, for example uh, we want to remove something from our array is uh, basically for arrays for you to understand is every array inside the swift is called zero paced array so what we mean by zero paced uh, as a human when you say how many objects is in array like we read one two three objects yes and this is number one this is number two and this is number three but when it comes to zero based arrays computer understand it differently computer says this is the object number zero this is the object number one and this is the object number two so if i uh, let's comment out this one so if i say for example print and then i say my friends and this way we can access the index so each one of these has index so index 0 index 1 index 2 index 3 so if i say print uh, my friends 1 as a human you understand that it's going to be the bob but if i run it's going to be an andy because bob is at the zero so all our arrays inside the swift is zero paced so it starts from zero counting so if i say array my friend zero which is my index it says bob here um, another option is when you want to remove something from your array you can say my friends dot remove and then it asks for at which index so let's say i want to remove index zero and then if i say now print my friends and zero index and if i run now first it's going to print the pop because he is the, at index zero 
and then we are removing the index 0 and nd automatically becomes the index 0 so because the pop is removed it play it puts nd here so this is another thing for you to remember then let's uh, try one more thing with our for loops when it comes to arrays so you can see uh, one of the most common errors that it happens when we are using arrays so we say for uh, i in and then we say 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 so our i is going, if I say print i it's going to print let's comment this out it's going to be printing 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 so imagine now I have my friends array here which holds four members and you would imagine that one to four is okay because for example if I say like print and I'm going to use my friends array and we can use our i as index because it starts from zero and remember here we were putting our uh, index number and it, it was printing so if I say print at index i and if I run my code now it's going to crash and it says fatal error index out of range so what does this error means index out of range you see that it printed Andy and Mike actually because we have removed uh, one of the values there so if I rerun it's going to print all our uh, values then uh, if you check we have 4 here but when we were printing our index it goes up to 5 so if I say print i here and if I run you will see that it has up to 4 ok and then it crashes but if I remove this comment it prints up to 4 here so we have only 3 up to 3 index because it's 0, 1, 2, 3 and then when it comes to the 4 it goes uh, the for loop goes to my friends array and asks my friends array to give me the object under index number four and my friends array says that you know I have only until index three and then it crashes because there is no object at the index four and this is uh, true if always if the number we are trying to access the index is out of the range because what out of range means is that our array doesn't have so many objects uh, so actually it prints the number 4 and when it goes asks our array here that give me the number 4 it says it's out of range but if I put like uh, Mary here and if I run my code now it will be okay because we have we are asking for 4 and we have actually 4 until 4 it's zero based so we have 5 objects here so this is one of very common uh, problems when you are using array and uh, when you are out of range but the best uh, best fix to this is using the for in uh, and then we put our array here so we don't go through index because no matter uh, when we are using this it doesn't matter how many objects our array has it will go through all of them and it stop you don't have to tell him how many should uh, he should go through because for example if I am using this function here uh, pay attention we are accessing the same array and if I print now let's uh, comment out this line so if I print now my first one is going to say Bob, Andy, Anna, Mike and my second one it says Bob, Andy, Anna, Mike and Mary because the second one I don't specify how many objects I should go through it goes through all of them but the first one is limited to the number so if it has fixed number and you are sure how many it has and you need the index for some reason you can use this but if you want to go through all the objects in your array it's always better to use for and then you say name in and then you put your name of your array so you don't have to access the index there we will uh, speak more about arrays once we start using a table views in our application which is uh, 
what uh, arrays are used to populate our tables.